me again. It's taken me quite a long time to get around to doing this because I've actually been wearing most of this stuff. So I had to wait to get it out of the wash again to actually just put it aside to film the video. Uh, in no particular order. First of all, I've got this, well, it was listed as white, um, but it's almost cream colour. Like, it's white enough to go with other white things and not look weird, but yeah, I, I wish the seller had said that it's slightly more cream than white, but I still like it and will obviously wear it. Um, I'm probably going to make it a little bit shorter, um, just because... I'll be wearing this underneath stuff mostly um, and it's just easier if it's shorter and I prefer how that looks as well. Originally it's from H&M, I've no idea how old it is though, but yeah. And nice long sleeves as well, I like that. This was £5 uh, with £1 postage, so that was a great price for that. knitted tube dress. Uh, it's by Spank London. Um, yeah, I, uh, I really liked the look of this. It's going to be really great for winter. And then these straps as well. They actually just come straight off so I can use these straps for other things as well. And I could potentially wear this as a skirt, but I think it might be a bit long for that. I'll have to have a play around to see if it works. It's just got a few little bobbles on it, but it's nothing I can't get rid of myself. And yeah, this is really great. Really cosy and comfortable, and I love how it looks. Um, I do have to wear stuff underneath it because it's kind of a looser knit. That just makes it more versatile, I think. This was £6 with £3 postage. So again, really great price. This really caught my eye because uh, it's a really awesome print and I really like, uh, yeah, I like the purple and green. That's a great combination of colours, I think. Uh, and the pattern as well. It's very cyberpunk and I love cyberpunk stuff, in case you hadn't noticed. It's by Collusion, which I think is an ASOS brand. I did actually look on the website before I bought it to try and find how much it was originally. Uh, but I didn't find it on the website, so I'm not sure if it's sold out or if discontinued or something. And it's really nice fabric. I was kind of expecting it to be like that swimsuit fabric, but it's quite cottony. Yeah, and I really like the open back. And this was £12 with three fifty postage. I've 
been wanting for a very long time and uh, I didn't actually think I would find it second hand on Depop but I was just searching one day, browsing, as you do, and I saw this and I immediately bought it um, and it took so long to get here. I mean, I don't really blame the seller because it was right at the start of lockdown and I know it doesn't really look like much like this, it looks much better on. I've been wearing this a lot as a pole dance top because uh, yeah, it works really well for that and it looks amazing. So I'll probably be wearing it mostly as a pole top now, being as it's getting colder. Yeah, this was 40 euros and 750 shipping. <laughs> This one's much stretchier. Um, this originally was from uh, Pretty Little Thing, I think. I don't like the name of that company. It's really stupid, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I just ripped off the tag because it was a tiny little thing and it was annoying me. Um, yeah, this I'm planning on DIYing. Um, you'll probably see that video in about six months. <laughs> this was eight pounds with free shipping, so that's good. another dress and it's actually by the same brand as the other one, also by Spank London. And yeah, I just really liked the look of this. It's kind of like Scyther Elf, I was kind of thinking. Yeah. So it's got a hood. Uh, it's not very functional because it's a bit on the smaller side and I prefer really big hoods. Um, but yeah. Like the hood up will be fine just for pictures, uh, but I probably won't be wearing it with the hood up because it doesn't really look very good. You'll see what I mean in the try on. Um, and then the sleeves have got a little bit of a flare on it. Um, and it's very, very short. Um, I will have to wear this with leggings or shorts underneath because if I raise my arms, it just, you know, goes up to my waist basically. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, kind of what kind of material is it? Like it's not an expensive feeling material, let's just say that. Um but it's just basic stretchy cottony stuff. Uh it does have a hole here and a few other imperfections but those were all um <coughs> those were put in the listing so that's not a problem for me. This will be quite nice for winter as well. And this was... Yeah, this was also £6 and two ninety shipping. For the final item, we have a pair of trousers. Yep, 
I was very excited when I saw these and I saw how cheap they were because normally on Depop people will sell this style of jeans or trousers for a ridiculous amount of money which I am NOT going to pay uh, but these were on for £7 like yes please uh, and then how much was shipping? ah £4 shipping so excellent price if you ask me um, they do have a few signs of wear, for example, this line across the bottom where they were folded in storage, but I didn't mind that at all. Um, and then no, one of the straps on the back of the leg is just tied on, but that'll be really quick and easy to fix. Um, yeah, and they're really, really comfortable. They fit nicely, but then these have actually got quite a wide leg. Uh, so I can wear my new rocks with these underneath, and I really like how that looks. If you saw my latest lookbook, then you will have seen these twice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and they've. Uh, the brand is that. <laughs> Never heard of that before. Very happy with these. another haul to film as well, a charity shop haul. I've found quite a lot of good stuff recently so I shall be doing that soon-ish, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so if you had a favourite item let me know which one it was down below. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.